Good day, everyone. Welcome back to Side Quest and what might be near the end of this gigantic DLC. Maybe. Honestly, it's entirely possible we're not quite, quite there yet. Like, I don't know if this is finale or anything. Maybe it is. I don't know. But, um, we're back in the previous hat because I realized in between episodes that I had misunderstood. The Gravebird helmet is not, in fact, a frisbee hat. It didn't specify just, like, ring spells. It was specifically rings of spectral light, and I'm not sure that my uh, holy incantation rings quite count as that. I think that that... And, like, it, the more I think about it, why would Gravebird, like, death creature type enemies, why would that helmet have anything to do with holy incantation? It doesn't make sense. So, back to the previous helmet. Also... I went ahead and upgraded the two weapons we got last time. Again, not sure they're going to be great for me. This one, the uh, curved great sword from the Horned Warriors, scales with... Uh... Okay, good. At least that one doesn't respawn. Scales with uh, strength a little bit more. So not too bad. Decent enough move set, and the special is a very fun. First that, at which you can follow up with... Oh, wait, hang on. That's the first one again. Here's the second one, and here's the third, which pretty fun. Lots of spinning and tornadoes. Uh, the other weapon, which might be even less for me, but is still very fun-seeming. Euphoria. Scales more with faith, but still not an amazing amount. If I got it maxed out, I think it would get up to, like, B-level faith scaling, which better, but still not incredible. Cool looking, though. And presumably, if we kept on hitting enemies with it, it would be charging up, and then we could release the charge with this. Which is pretty cool. Worth upgrading just because of how darn unique the thing is. We'll give this one a spin first, but I, uh, I don't expect either one of these is going to stick. Anyway. I'm seeing this stake of America here, so, um... Oh, no, wait, this is the summoning one, but... Regardless... I am expecting encounters ahead, so, um... Yep. Yep. Is that Letta? I think it might be, and... To be expected. Alright. You'll have to speak up! It was never kindly, Mikula, was it? The Erd Tree was leading you all along, so that you might ascend to Lordship. Why come to these lands to begin with? I suppose it must be what his eminence, or perhaps the Erd Tree, desired all along. The clashing of the favored lords. Such that one would prevail. So be it. If you insist upon facing Mikula the Kind, then I will run you three, whoever you might be. Don't tarry now. You just refuse to have a conversation. Well, I see options. Ah, good to see you up on your feet again. Uh... And also you, hello. So I guess we could summon help to assist. Be summoned to challenge and her allies. She still has friends? Might be Freya. Certainly not Hornscent anymore. Who would be on her side anymore? Some more, maybe, I guess? Yeah, I don't know who would be on her side anymore, but um, y'all are welcome to come with. The cooperator will not arrive until the time is right. That's fine. Yo, get on in here and help me out. I don't know if this weapon's a good idea. I think I have my lady also equipped, yeah? Just in case, yeah. 
Which is, I think, the same weapon she has. A duel. All right. Let's go ahead and get this over with. Don't you dare approach Mikula the Kind. Needle Knight Letter, Dryly oh. Dale, and our allies will never allow this. Dale, of course. All right, I called it on Freya, Freya though. Freya. The time has come. Hello. I could not hope for a worthier foe. This is our moment. Let's make it something to remember. I didn't expect it to be one at a time. That's cool. I thought this was going to be a just brawl. Let's see how you like the big storms. Kind of shielded your way through most of it. That tracks. Oh, hi. You also, then. Throwing rot pots. It is going to be a brawl, then. Neat. I stand with blade aloft, blood of fire, for the dignity of my lord. Big spinny storms. Righteous tarnished. It appears that our interests have aligned. Alarm upon my soul it is that we do not meet today. This is kind of fun. They've not really done this sort of thing before. The mere sight of your blade sets my heart aflutter. All the more I yearn to crush it in my grasp. Stop it. You and I fighting. Tragedy this is. Oh, we're healing even, huh? Stop it. I should probably help out. And Dane's here. Okay. Ah. Uh. And you are not worthy. I am here to serve Centrina evermore. This is really fascinating. I, I wonder how I wonder how it works. Like, um if I didn't bring in two allies, would she have two fewer assisting? Or would I just be fighting all of them solo? I could see either one, honestly, being the case. This is really interesting though. What a cool idea. I like the big spinny storm swing, but I, I'm not... I don't have a lot of confidence in this one. Um, this could be a little bit more of a something. Maybe. We've really got several great options at this point, but... Uh, Given the number of combatants, the bear claws are a definite no. Like, the bullying, great, but... Especially against the first two coming out, I have no confidence that the claws are going to... I don't think the bullying will work. I think Freya will poise through, and I think Mord's got the big shield, so... No luck. Let's try this. And then we need to drop that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Neat. Might take a few tries. And the sooner we can burn, like, given that we're just kind of coming in in a staggered fashion, not letting enemy numbers build on us seems like a smart play. Getting Freya taken care of as fast as we can so we can try to focus them down seems the trick. It's so neat. Don't you dare approach Mikula the Kind. Needle Knight Letter, Dryleaf Dane, and our allies will never allow this. I am the Red Main Freya. The time has come. I could not be a worthier foe. This is our moment. Let's make it something to remember. My attacks are much bonkier. Have some of this. Ah, that didn't quite go how I hoped. 
Yeah. Ah, dang it. Companions. I am a Thank you. Blood of fire for the dignity of my lord and master, Mo. Righteous tarnished, it appears that our interests have aligned. A balm upon my soul it is that we do not meet today as enemies. Ditto. Now, I've got enough. My blade. Watch closely. Ditto. You and I fighting. I noticed. City this is. Better take you out quick before Dane's here. Okay. It'd be good to come in with some boluses and get this rot taken care of. The attrition is building on me here. Sorry, buddy. Okay, okay. Wah! What a brawl. This is such a cool idea. Chaotic. But cool. Yeah, let's see. Um... That sword did better. It did do better. The single target Kaboom is really... really potent. It's been very potent on a lot of enemies. And Fire Grabby Hand Sword always works, but... And we can also fall back on the classic Hammer. I'm going to give this a few tries, though, like... Uh, we can definitely tilt the odds back in our favor a little bit with a Spirit Ash, and probably will. I'm just gonna try a few more weapons and see which one feels like the best tactical choice. And then if we need that extra edge, that's what Spirit Ash is for. It can honestly only make so big a difference with this many combatants on the field. It's like... <laughs> Having one more, very helpful, sure. But when there's six other people on the field... <laughs> we can hopefully Don't use the special move on this one to, uh, focus down Need some folks. Letter, Dryly Dane and our allies will never allow this. Oh, I forgot to equip the Scarlet. That's ah, fine. The time has come. I do not hope for a word you jumped before. over it. Good this jump. This is our moment. Let's make it something to remember. Maybe not as effective as I'd hoped. Yeah, you keep interrupting. And your shield. So strong. Yeah, this one's doing... Less good work than I hoped. And you're just poising through it so very effectively. You and I fighting. Yep. Tragedy this is. I can't believe you can throw that far. I'm not sure the great hammer is actually gonna do, do tons better in this circumstance. S since, like, the benefit of that one is guard countering. And at least this early on with Freya, like, she does not care. She's not... She's not gonna give me a chance to counter. I love how much they're conversing, though. Yeah, not this one. Let's see how this does. Might ultimately be that this is still the ticket, but, uh, let's... let's see. Can I equip Bear Claws at the same time? Because that would also be... Yeah, let's also see that, since it is... 
if we can find individuals we can bully, it's worth a try. Sorry, Teolia, I know you're not really getting a chance to show your skills. <laughs> for getting the button to dual wield all of a sudden. Why is it not working? Is it because I'm in a no attack zone? Yeah, well, let's go inside and see. Don't you dare there we go. It's weird you can't do that. <laughs> Needle Knight's letter, Dryleaf Dane and our allies will never allow this. I don't think this is going to work against Freya at all, but... I am the red main Freya. The time has come. I cannot hope for a worthy soul. Well... Show. This is our moment. Never Let's mind. remember. You and I... Yipes. Fighting. And you healed up, so... This is. Stop it with those. Yeah, okay. Basic attacks are not going to uh, stagger her, but the big swipes, those do. <laughs> Look out. There we go. There's a one. You were fine. In your Truly. Time for bear. Ow. Make another time. Without us, forget. Me. Bully. With all your might and speed. Now, there's so much going on, and I don't really have. Thank you. Big bear hits. There goes more. Okay. It'll be pretty amazing if bear ends up working here. There's Leda. Make the world a gentler place. No boy. Leash. Get away. That rot's adding up. Your fists are no match against Bear. If you just hold still. The bleed buildup is very good. I think we can make it work. What a cool fight. Yeah. Whew, thanks for the save there. Power of bear! Finally, words. Thanks for the assist, team. That was not easy. Whew! Boy. The answer was bear all along. Whew! I was so low on health, too. <laughs> With no healing left. And I'd apparently forgotten this. For all the difference it makes. So. Moore's bell bearing and etc. Verdigree stuff.
Greaves made from an unusual metal known as verdigris. Verdigris is said to be the gift of an outer god, possessed of an enormously hefty yet supple strength thanks to its rusted nature. Interesting. Which outer god, though? I mean, he did work together with the pests. The pests were the kind of like foragers out here, and the pests are very much scarlet rot creations and worshippers. So maybe that one? Great shield made of the unusual metal known as verdigris. Boasts greater guard capacity than damage negation, to the extent that the shield will continue to protect its target even if its bearer should die. Moore's charge. Ready the shield with both hands, then charge forth while maintaining guard, ending in a shove imbued with verdigree magic. Knocks back nearby enemies, but does not cause significant harm. Hold to extend the length of the charge. Maybe it's a different outer god altogether. There's quite a few. <laughs> Moore's bell bearing found upon his parish flesh. Also, let us sword. So you don't have the Milady, you have your own thing. Light greatsword with gold inlaid. Weapon of Leda, the Needle Knight. Deals holy damage. This sounds like a sword for me. Though polished to a mirror sheen, this blade still reeks with the stench of crusted blood that lingers from the cull of her knightly comrades. Needle Piercer. Skill of Needle Knight Leda. Generates ten gold needles which pierce their target all at once. Those pierced are purged of all ailments and special effects alike. Ooh. That's cool. Dexterity. Ah. Uh, well... To be fair, I've gotten a lot of strength faith toys. <laughs> Quite a few. How are we doing? Good fight. Freya's great sword and helm and such. Greaves of Redmain Freya, member of General Radon's most distinguished knights. After witnessing Freya's valor as a gladiator in his youth, Radon invited her to join the ranks of his most trusted warriors. A hideous scarlet wound was once hewn into the center of her face. Later, Mikola gently put his lips to it, and the unfading scar became the compass that Freya would thereafter follow. Hmm. Great sword decorated with a mane, much like the weapons used by her liege. The spirit of Freya's training lingers in this sword, enhancing the power of red main battle skills. Spinning slash, even. Hmm. Well, good fight, all. You as well. I thought you might have died at the waterfall thing, but this makes more sense. Dane's footwork. Huh. A technique for hand-to-hand -hand combat without the aid of a weapon. This martial art focuses on kicking techniques. This kick-based martial art is unique to Dane, a dry leaf and sworn ally of Leda. He acquired these skills by training with the aid of a waterfall, letting the water beat his body and throwing himself into its basin. Oh, that was him. Kind of. Palm Blast, skill of the spiritual seekers known as the Dryleaf Sect, imbues hand with energy before using a palm strike to unleash an explosive blast. The already formidable power and impact can be bolstered by charging the attack. Neat. That was a lot. And there you are. Leda's armor. Chest armor of Needle Knight Leda. Slightly strengthens attacks following a dodge roll or backstep, as well as dash attacks. Embroidered with a golden cross tree motif, the chalk white cloak and surcoat symbolize the honor of the Needle Knights. Kindly Mikola fashioned us as his needles to quell all, to ward away all. Where do I get the rest of this set? It sounds cool. The world is probably safer for this. And this 
is very reminiscent. I do love how many little... Not even, like, direct references to anything in previous games. Just echoes of old stuff and old ideas from previous games are just popping up here and there in this DLC. It really feels like a celebration of Souls history. Maybe I should go back to the, um... Grace fire. <laughs> Just back here, that might be safer. Especially if... Actually, yeah, let's definitely do that, because some NPCs might pop up. The ones on my team. That, that feels like an encounter that can take a lot of different forms depending on what all you do. Like, I wonder if there's things you can do which result in different characters being here or being on different teams or different ones being available as allies for you to summon. That seems like a potentially highly variable encounter, and I love the idea of that. It's a really unique fight. Don't suppose... Close enough, let's... Let's make that happen. Need more faith. And I don't expect it to go well for me, but... Let's give this one a chance. I wonder. Will it be too much? I think it works. I wonder... I wonder what the rest of the set is. Like... I could see Leda's armor being a unique piece that goes with another, like, the rest of a different set. Like, there being a different set that Leda's armor is a slight variant of. I wonder. It's cool looking, though. Maybe like Halic Tree Knights, maybe? That's the one that would kind of make sense. Now to just dig through these <laughs> darn near a hundred, maybe more armor sets. High Priest gloves kind of look like what she's wearing, but not quite. It's not quite right. This is a waste of time. There's almost certainly a, like, rest of the set you can get. Actually... Let's get let's let's go back to the uh let's go back to base real fast, because maybe there might be new things we can acquire there. Maybe. I could see some of these pieces showing up here, maybe. Wait. Oh, that's the mess my griefs I didn't get before. Well, might as well. But no. Okay, never mind. Let's go back. Okay, forward. To destiny and doom. Kind of thought some of these nerds would show up to say hi. Maybe they're further in. Up we go. I assume. Yep. Whew. 
Hey, you did wait up. Fantastic. Hi. Righteous tarnished. That was an astounding battle, to be sure. Now I suppose this leaves only one. But in truth, I cannot calm my quivering. Challenging a god is no small matter. Boy, you said it. Um, I'd love to ask about both of these things, actually. I don't know if I can only ask one, and that's probably not the case, but if so, this is what I'm more curious about. Ask about Moog's death. Oh. Something you want to get off your chest? Uh... You didn't worry. It was you, wasn't it? Who defeated Lord Moog. Yeah. Uh, fear not. I bear no grudge against you. His eminence was felled in an honorable duel. And such are the risks of seeking lordship. Besides, what right have I to complain? I blame the enchantment more than anything. Righteous tarnished, we will have our victory. I swear upon my blood. Interesting, so you consider me having done that a result of me also being charmed to try to reach Mikola to get here like you were. I'm fine with letting you continue to believe that. <laughs> what about Teolier, though? I'm afraid I underestimated the lad. Appearing frail in both body and mind, I presumed it'd be like to stumble upon the field of battle. What a fool I was. He serves another master, but Sir Teolier performed magnificently. Perhaps he too quivers with anticipation, as do we. Anticipation and no small amount of fear. Righteous tarnished, we will have our victory. I swear upon my blood. Looking forward to it. Thanks for the help before. Sounds like I'll be able to get your help again. Glad about it. Oh boy. Teolier is not here, huh? I guess he was a little grumpy at me. A little bit. This feels like this could be a, an arena for a final boss, though. Might not be the final, final one, but boy, it does feel like it, huh? Since I'm not going to be going into this encounter with this weapon, let's... Let's just, like, go somewhere else to see it in action. Tomorrow we'll go in for that fight. Let's just, like, let's go, like, here or something. Went to all the trouble to upgrade the thing. Might as well at least... get a little look at how it works. And looks in action. Before putting it back in storage. This will be a nice, chaotic venue. Building up power. Building up power. Oh, it glows and everything. That's cool. It is pretty cool. And it's building up damage pretty fast, too. Honestly, it's not bad. And Faith is one of my very high stats, so, like, makes sense that it would... Ah, okay. Whew, close. Do you mind? We're saving the big... big hit for this big one here. I think it's gonna work great. Here we go. 
goodness. <laughs> so wait, remind me, is it... Is it charging up this damage, or like that big hit, with attacks or with kills? Remind me. Uh... Their luster can be restored by dealing damage to foes. Okay, just attacks. Interesting. Because being able to unleash a 8,000 plus damage hit is pretty cool. Assuming your enemy's willing to hold still for that. And in most cases with a boss especially, I don't have high confidence. But whatever, we'll hang on to it. We'll give it like one try. <laughs> At least. Alright, well, where, where, where were we? Where was the grace fire that was, like, actually up top? I did touch it, right? I suddenly feel like I failed to touch it. I did. Embarrassing. Just silly. And no one pops up if I rest here, right? Seems like no. Okay, well... On Thursday, we walk through there and contend with whatever is through there. Very excited slash nervous. But have a good one, y'all. And goodbye!